My name is Brian Mulligan. I run the offset printing presses at MATC. Um, it's a Heidelberg. It's from 1989 or 1990. It's can print sheets up to 25 inches wide by 19 inches tall. Um, basically we run four color process, black, cyan, magenta, yellow. Um, on this press, on the smaller two color press, we run school letterhead, um, course syllabus sheets, um, business cards, things like that. On the smaller press we run flyers, um, and on the other little press that uh, guy runs, we run envelopes primarily. So for the for the whole school, um, this press runs not as often as I'd like it to, but um, we have our busy season. In the summer we're real busy. Um, we do all the program cards for the school. Um, any posters you see, we do those. Um, this press uh, runs. It can run up to twelve thousand sheets an hour. I usually keep it around six thousand sheets an hour. It's kind of its happy zone. The faster you run, the more you have to work your ink and water balance. Um, and that basically means like when the paper comes into the press, um, you have printing plates and the plates will either accept ink or accept water depending on, it's like a reverse image. So the ink will be attracted to the image and the water will be attracted to the non-image. So when it comes through, it kind of works like a, um, there's rollers inside so the paper will come through in between the plate and the rubber uh, cylinder, it kind of puts like a stamp on each color and then it kind of comes through. And I put one on top of the other, black, cyan, magenta, yellow, until we have four color process coming out of this end here. When the sheets come down into the press, they come, they stop, and then they justify either to the left or to the right, depending on what I program it to do. That ensures that every sheet will be in the exact same position as the one before and the one after it. So down, over, through the press, comes out here, nice stack, and it goes on to finishing. Well, it needs weekly maintenance of grease, oil, just general cleaning. Um, right now, I am readjusting my rollers on the inside. There's about 18 rubber rollers on the, from, makes it from the ink from the top to the plate in the middle. Um, with age, uh, they kind of like wear out, so you have to make sure that they're the same um, it's called a stripe where they touch and they just kind of touch like a little bit like that and just have to go through and make all the adjustments and uh, keeps it running better, longer. Anything that's out of whack, it'll wear out faster, it'll heat up faster and just to the degradation of the, the rollers themselves. It's just, they're rubber, they're hard rubber, but they'll do wear out over time. 